Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another fun prank video and in today's video we will be focusing on pranks and booby traps that you can set up on gamers that you know on April Fool's Day. Let's get started by pranking the case of one of your siblings favorite video games. To do that you will need a blank CD you no longer need. So let's safely remove the video game disc that's inside. Now take a hot glue gun and apply some glue right on the center where the disc goes. At this point we can put the blank CD inside, except that it will be upside down just to keep your victim guessing. Once dry the prank will be set, just close the case. Seriously guys, not only are you gonna irritate your sibling, but also when they try to pull out the disc, they will also worry thinking that if they pull too hard on their favorite video game, it will break. I'm sure that eventually though, they will figure out that the disc is glued onto the case and that it's not really their favorite video game, so it'll be a relief to them. Here I have a stack of video games and for this prank the amount is up to you so the more video games you have, the better this prank will be. We're basically gonna booby trap this stack of video games and to be able to achieve that some string will be needed. The purpose will be to make your victim drop all the video games onto the floor. Let's open up the most appealing video game case and inside you will find a clip. That clip is where we are gonna tie one end of the string. Now let's close it up and put the video game case back on the stack. Run the string all the way down to the bottom of the stack and tape it on. Just leave the stack by the edge of a table. And now the prank is set. When your victim picks out their favorite video game from the stack, it will cause the other ones to fall on the floor. They won't see this coming. Now let's mess with their wireless controller and what I have here is an Xbox One controller. Basically we are gonna frustrate our victims by removing the battery pack from the back of the controller. You can do this by sliding out the back cover. Once you remove the battery, put the cover back on and wrap a zip tie around it so now they won't be able to open it. Of course also try to hide all the scissors in your house, that way they won't be able to cut the zip tie. Once they try to turn on their game console it won't work obviously because the controller has no battery and the fact that they can't open the battery cover will add to their frustration. If your victim is a big time gamer and loves to play online, he or she most likely has a headset like this one. So if you want to mess with them on April Fool's Day, simply take their headset and when they're not looking remove the padding on one side and place a piece of tape over the speaker. This will totally ruin the sound coming from that side and it will irritate them. To cover your tracks, put the padding back on and if your gamer friend is smart, he or she will figure out what's wrong with their headset. If not, just throw them a bone and let them know that it's just a prank. A really annoying video game prank is when you can't find the game that you're looking for. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna annoy somebody on April Fool's Day. So take their stack of video games and switch out the discs. That way it's harder for them to find them. If you want to be extra mean, place the discs upside down so when they open each case, they will see a blank CD and of course it will make them a bit more annoyed. Another way to achieve this is to just swap out the labels from each case. It's just as annoying to whoever falls for this prank. This is a really good one guys. Take your victim's stack of video games and try the following. Take two cases that are side by side like the ones I have right here and tape them together. Of course you will have to repeat this with multiple cases. It will appear like an accordion in the end, especially when they pick up the video game that's on top, the rest will follow. Here's a funny way to stain someone's hand. For this all you need is your victim's controller and some clear tape. Simply take a piece and stick it on one of the handles of the controller. Now it's time to grab our trusty sharpie and fill in some of the tape with it. We will of course repeat the same steps to the other side and it should look something like this. But of course our marker stains will not be visible from this angle. So when your victim grabs their controller, it will stain their hands. Luckily the controller won't get stained because of the clear tape. Just peel it off. Another controller prank is to take a rubber band and cut it. One end you will attach to the controller and here I'm just gonna use the battery cover so it stays put. The other end of the rubber band needs to have a knot for extra grip and it will be taped on the lower edge of any coffee table. Once it's on pretty well, leave the controller close to the edge opposite of where your victim will sit and when they reach over to grab their controller it will instantly pull away from their hands and it will seem like it will fall on the floor but luckily the rubber band will save it. It just makes for a really funny prank because controllers aren't cheap guys so for them to think that their controller fell on the floor will freak them out big time. <laughs> the 
this next prank will give any gamer a big scare, so the reaction will be worth the setup of this prank. Just take a blank CD like I have right here and with a blade cut from one end to the other, this will make it easier to snap in half just like this. Not a lot of strength went into this. Now guys, we can take their favorite video game case and put our broken CD inside. Do this while it's upside down though. Now when they open up the case, they'll get an unfortunate surprise because they'll think that their favorite video game is broken. For a few seconds, they'll be super sad and upset until they find out that it's just a blank CD. Another way to pull off a similar prank is to eject any video game that might be in their game console and just take half of that broken disc and leave it sticking out just like you see right here. When they see this, instead of pushing the disc in, they will pull it out and again for a split second they will freak out thinking the CD is broken but of course they will figure out it's just a blank CD. If you want to keep someone from playing video games, again you can resort to some zip ties. Simply wrap it around the joysticks, make sure it's tightly on there and that's it. If they're in a hurry to start playing, they'll have to wait and go get some scissors to cut the zip tie. Something more extreme would be to wrap a bicycle lock around their controllers to hold them together. Of course just make sure you remember the combination that way you can unlock it once you have annoyed your victims enough for the day or when they beg for you to release their controllers. Here I have a video game case and a pencil. So let me show you how you can prank someone with this. Simply take the pencil and put it inside the case while it's opened. Make sure it's on there horizontally behind the label. Now the owner of this video game will see this on the table laying opened, so they will try to close it, but to their surprise they won't be able to because of the pencil. It'll take a few seconds until they figure out what's wrong with it. One last time guys, let's mess with someone's controller and here I have a glue mouse trap. It's used to catch mice by having them stick onto it. Well on it, it's got some really strong glue, so with a pair of scissors, let's cut out a piece from it. It might get a little sticky, but you should be able to get it done. The smaller the piece, the better. Let's glue it onto one of the handles of the controller like this. Put it back where it goes and next time the owner of this controller feels like playing video games, he or she will have some sticky glue on their hands to deal with. Not fun at all guys. <laughs> Lastly here I have a video game case that happens to be empty and that's okay because we'll be filling it up with some poppets and poppets can be a prankster's best friend guys. So add as many as you want in there and then just close up the case. Next time someone opens it, they'll be in for a popping surprise. There you guys have it, some simple pranks and booby traps that you guys can set up at home on friends and family using their video games and controllers. These are perfect to prank those gamers you might know on April Fool's Day. I'll see you guys in my next prank video, thanks for watching.